or any exercise program. As with any exercise program, the user must take precautions against injury and must never continue with the program if pain, dizziness, palpitations, or shortness of breath develop. The creators, producers, and distributors of this program disclaim any liabilities in connection with the exercises and advice contained in this video. Hunter, and this is my trainer, Tony Cortez. Tony developed specialized exercise training systems, and he's worked with me to design a balanced upper and lower body muscle conditioning routine, which we're about to do. We'll work the lower body first, then the upper body, and we'll finish off with a section of abdominal work. We're going to use dumbbells in three of our exercises. By using weights, you'll make your muscles work harder, and you'll see faster results. If you don't have weights, work along with us anyway. And then after you're more experienced, you can add weights to your own workout. We want you to stay within the number of repetitions that we use in this video. When you can do five sets of eight to ten repetitions of any exercise, you'll get better results by increasing the resistance as opposed to increasing the number of repetitions. Remember, before starting any new exercise program, please consult a physician. When you do these exercises, pay close attention to proper form. Listen to your body and never do more repetitions or use heavier weights than you're comfortable with. You will need a chair, and if you're working on a hard floor, you'll need a towel or a mat. And of course, you'll need determination. You're already off to a good start. Tony, let's start our warm-up. Let's go, let's start walking. Come on, let's go, okay? Let's work a sweat up, like that would be really hard in this weather. <laughs> okay, let's go, okay? Keep, keep the pace up, let's get a good warm-up. Okay, get those arms moving with you. Okay, let's march now, let's bring them up. Good. There we go, good. Never start any exercise routine without okay. warming up your muscles. This will prevent injury. Come on, you gotta love this. Oh, let's go. Good. And next, what we're gonna be doing is gonna be doing some squats, okay? Let's start, go right into the squats, left over right, and let's go down for a squat, keep that back nice and flat. Good job, let's exhale on the way up. All right, there we go. Give him some nice deep squats there. There you go. And I'll just watch you do this. <laughs> Good work, that's it. Good, let's keep that back nice and flat. How'd that feel? Good. Good, stop right there and let's go into this. Okay, let's go right into the side stretches, okay? Okay, there you go, keep that back nice and straight. Chest up. Back toward me. Let's move this chair out of the way a little bit for you. Someone can hold on to something, right? Yeah, definitely. Balance. Yeah, just in case you start to lose that balance, someone can use the chair right in front of them to hold on to. It's perfect. Okay, now let's stop right here and now let's, let's warm up the upper little body. Bit. There's that wingspan. Let's go here and back. And forward, back. There we go. There you go, keep them up at shoulder high. There we go. Good work, there we go. Good pace. Good. Again, good work, there's that alternation. Okay, good, okay? Well, let's go right to the lateral raises, okay? Let's go to the side, lead with the elbow. Good, and just a shoulder high. Good, lead with that elbow, slight bend in the arms. Good. Five, let's switch to the front raises now. Two hands from the top of the thighs, slight bend, flat back, and let's go up to the shoulder height. Two, three, four, five, good. Okay, let's go from there, let's go into the neck. Okay. okay, let's start off in neutral, nice bend in the knees, and let's go straight down first, good. Let's go to the right, just lean it over to the right, good, and let's go back to the left. Good, hold it, and let's go to the middle. Okay, great, down, okay, back up to the right, and then to the left, great. How do you feel? Good. There you go. Let's go. 
Okay, let's start off with stationary lunges. Okay, so let's step out this way, and let's start off with the uh, left leg. Okay, left leg out, take it a few feet in front of you. Okay, and we're gonna take it out, and we're gonna step, and we're gonna come right straight down. Good, keep that back up, and exhale as you come up. Three, and four, and five. There you go, good work. Switch. Good, same thing. One of the important things, let's not let that knee go right over the ball of the foot. So we want to come straight down. Okay, maybe get this leg a little bit farther out so you can keep your balance. And five. Good. And six. Seven. Stop right there. Okay. For those of you that need to take a 20-second rest, go ahead and do so right now. We're gonna go keep going. Come on, let's go right back to that left leg. Good. Tells as you go up, you got this, no problem. I can go take a break in the chair now. No, you're not. <laughs> and eight, let's switch. Okay, right leg. You'll feel this and one in your quads. Good one. And five, I don't hear anything. Okay, <laughs> good work. Now let's go again, good. Okay, and again, take another rest if you need to. But we're gonna go, we're gonna go right back. It's gonna kill me. Okay. My legs. Okay, here's a third set. Okay. Okay. If you want to add there. resistance to your lunges, hold Three. the dumbbells down at your sides. And five. You feel those? Six, seven, keep breathing. Eight, and let's switch legs. Those legs should be nice and toasty now. They are. Okay. <laughs> Back up nice and straight. There you go. You're an expert at this now. Great work. There we go. When you get fatigued, stop. Only do as many repetitions as you can with the proper form. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to go into the uh, side leg lifts. Okay. I'm going to start off with that left leg, so let's get on the right arm. Okay. Lean back. Let's keep your back nice and flexible. Let's bring this leg out just a little bit. Okay. Great, let's keep this knee bent and this ankle, this foot locked in like this, flexed up and pointed down. Okay, and we're gonna start from here and we're gonna lift it this to what's comfortable. For those of you that can't get it up as high as Rachel can just work with the limited range of motion on this exercise. Okay, get back nice and flat. And good. Okay, let's switch sides. Okay, let's go to that next leg. Let's flatten the back out. Let's bring that. That ankle up and point it down. Okay, great. Let's go up for ten. One, two, and all the way up. Squeeze. Five and six. If you don't have a chair seven, handy, you can do these eight, exercises eight, using a wall to support your body. Ten. Good. Okay, for those of you that need to take a break now, go ahead and take one. We're just gonna keep going. <laughs> now this leg should be this pulling leg should be slightly, slightly bent, right? bent. Right. We want to keep a soft knee there. Okay. And let's keep that back flat. Great, and two, and three, and four, and squeeze them up as high as you can. You feel this back here? And eight, and nine, ten. Great. Let's get that. Thank you so much. I just wanted to help you. Okay. Great. Let's go. Just like that. One. Remember that proper form is always the priority. Four, and five. Keep that toe pointed down. And seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Great. About that rest. <laughs> We're not going to have one. Okay. Same thing. Let's go again. Keep that foot flat and point it down. Okay, and let's go up. Two. And three. And squeeze. And five. How's that feel? How's it feel? <laughs> Nine and ten. Good. Okay, let's switch around to this side. Okay, back flat, exhale as you go up, that toe pointed down. Good job on this knee. Three, and four, and five, and squeeze, six, seven, keep the back flat, eight, and nine, and ten. Good job. Next, we're gonna do some squats. Okay. Okay, those of you that need to take a rest in between these exercises, please do so. Rachel, you can keep going. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna start off with squats. Right. 
Okay, let's go left over right. Okay. And okay, get your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Okay, and let's sit back. Just like we're gonna sit in a chair. Good. And exhale you up. And good work, Rachel. And let's get them down so those legs are parallel to the ground. This one works your quads and butt. Can you feel it? Keep your back up straight. And again. And ten. Good. How those feel? Good. Hey, feel those in the leg? Good job. Right okay. in here. Okay, let's go. And let's go right into our next set. Those of you that need to take a rest, please do so for a 30-second count. Okay? Up. Just watch your balance here. Good. And four. Good breathing. There you go, Rachel. And focus on those hips. Good job. You're just motoring through those. I think we're going to have to add some weight. No. <laughs> okay. All right. And then again, you guys, whoever needs to take a rest, take a rest now. But Rachel's going to keep on going. She's a machine. I have been for the last six months. <laughs> oh, come on. There you go. If you want to add resistance to this exercise, you can hold dumbbells in each hand. Eight and nine. One more. Good. Hey. Now we go to the calf raises. Okay? Okay, let's bring, you know, what we want to do is start off with one leg at a time. Slight balancing point here. We want to get one leg behind the other. We want to go up all the way, keeping the, the flat leg straight. We don't have to bend the leg on this exercise. Okay? There we go. Start off with the left leg. Okay? This leg's got to be nice and straight. Okay? Backs up nice and flat. Good. And exhale to go up. And two. And try to get that all the way up as high as you can. Four, five, six, and seven. Slow and controlled. Eight, and nine, and ten. Try not to push with the hands and let's switch legs with no rest. And well, that's no rest part. <laughs> I'm saying no again. And six, and seven, eight, and nine, and ten. And again, we're going to go right back. These calves can recover quite quickly, so let's keep them working. Okay? Three and four, five, six. Don't push with the arms, just balance. Eight and nine and ten. Let's go right back to the next one. How are those calves feeling? Burning. <laughs> well, let's keep I'm working. I'm getting right now. <laughs> Good. Three and four and five and six and seven, eight, nine. One more. Ten. How are you feeling? Good. Okay, let's go again. <laughs> That was the wrong thing to say. You should have said you felt terrible. Two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Let's switch. And two, and three. Do your heel raises on a heavy block or stair step to increase your range of motion. Eight, and nine, and ten. Good job. How are you feeling? How are those legs feeling? Good. Learning that they feel good. Good. Feel used right now. <laughs> and abused. Okay, great. Now we're going to move on to the upper body. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do a superset. We're going to start off with push-ups, and then we're going to go to a dumbbell row. So we're going to do a superset. We're going to go from one exercise to the other without a rest. Okay. Okay? So let's start off with a set of push-ups. Right. Okay? Let's do them out this way. Right to the knee position. Okay. Get the body up nice and straight. And, and Rachel's going to start off with a military style men's push up because she's so fit. Okay? They're making me do it. They're making me do it. Okay. Okay. And let's get those. Okay. We want to work on getting the chest down to the ground, not the head. Good work. All the way down. All right. Okay, and now we got to go right into the next exercise. Okay. Okay, and we're going to go right over here to the chair. Right. Actually, let's bring this chair out this way for you. Okay, and you're going to start off with this exercise, the dumbbell row, one leg back, and you're going to lean forward, keep those knees bent, and you're going to come up and pull through. Okay? Bring it across. 
across and really pull on those, on those laps. Right back here. Good. Five. Six, really focus on the muscles being seven, worked. Eight and nine and ten. Good. And now let's switch sides. Okay. Okay, let's go right to the other arm. Okay, same thing. Let's get the legs back farther. Keep that back flat. We're going to pull up and work on that lat. All the way up. And keep that elbow close into the ribs. Good work. Okay, let's switch, and we're gonna go right back into the push-up. For those of you that need a rest right now, it's perfect time to take about a 20 to 30 second rest. But Rachel's gonna keep going. But now Rachel's gonna do a modification of the push-up, and she's gonna go to a push-up going from the knees. Okay, the same push-up, except that now with the knees, it's gonna have less weight over the arms and the chest. Okay, let's go. Good work. Those are great. Three and four. Keep that back nice and flat. And ten. Good. Okay, let's go right into the back exercise. Let's bring the chair back. Okay. And I'll get you done though. Right. <laughs> okay, same thing. Let's step back away from the chair so we get a good stretch out here. Get back flat. And let's pull straight through. Really work on that back. And three. And four. And five. Six. I'm really working this one. Eight and nine. Ten. Let's switch sides. Bring the chair around. Great. Same thing. Other side. Let's get the legs back, back flat, and exhale as you pull up. And really work that one. Good. Four and five. You work six, seven, and eight and nine. Ten. All right, those of you that need to take a break, good time to take it now. Rachel's gonna keep on going. Okay, I wanna do the modified push-up again. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Let's go. One, two, and three. Rachel. Four. Always do slow controlled movements. Seven, eight and nine. Good job. <laughs> okay, last set. Here we go. Okay, we'll start off with that left arm for the rows. Okay. Great position. Two and three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, let's switch on to position. And five, and six, and seven, eight, and nine, and ten. Good job, Rachel. Good. Nice set, Tom. Yes. And now we move on to the shoulders. Your favorite part. Okay. We're going to start off with these. Okay. We're going to start off with lateral raises. Let me switch positions with you here. Okay. And we're going to go out to the side for five, and then to the front for five. Okay. One. So just up to parallel. Great job. There we go. The next as you come up. And five. There we go. Two. I didn't even have to let you know. Four. And five. Good job. How'd that feel? Feel that in your shoulders? Okay. Well, everyone else gets to take a rest, you get it. Go again. Okay, same thing. Back up straight, select bend in the knees, and let's do it. Remember to never swing the weights. And five. There it goes. And four. And five. You're on top of things. I am. <laughs> How'd that feel? Good. Good. Okay, everybody can take a rest now. You are getting to keep going. Two. Good position. Switching again. Good job. Two and three and four and five. That's the 
done. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Now we're going to do another super set action, and we'll actually use these dumbbells again, okay? You're going to go from the bicep to the tricep exercise. We're going to start off with the bicep and then go to your tricep push. Okay. Okay? Very, okay, let's get the same position that you just had. Bent knees straight back, elbows forward all the way. We want to work a full range of motion, so we want to start off in a completely straight position and come all the way up. One, two, and exhale up. Three, and four, and five. And six. And really squeeze those muscles. Seven. Eight. And nine. One more. Ten. Good job. Now the exercise we're going to do is a modification of the push-up that we did earlier, except it's for the triceps. So the hands are going to be a little bit lower, and the elbows are going to be tight to the rib cage. okay? And we're going to do that from the knee. There we go. Okay. Good position. Get the hands back a little farther. There we go. Okay. Down, all the way. And three. Good job, Rachel. And five. Six. One. Seven. Three more. Eight. And nine. Ten. <laughs> okay. And for those of you that need to take a rest, please take a 30-second rest now. And guess what? We're gonna go again. <laughs> okay, let's go. And with the bicep curls, good. Can you feel those in your biceps? Yes, I can. And squeeze the biceps as you come up. And five. And six. And seven. Keep the elbows to your side when you're doing the curls. Nine. Ten. Good job. And now for the triceps. Okay, same thing. Good position. It's back. Nice and tight to the ribcage. Okay, let's go down for ten. Keep focusing on your form. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Push them up. Ten. Good job, Rachel. Let's do our last set of bicep curls and tricep push-ups. Two. Good. And three. Squeeze those biceps. Four. Five. Six. Keep the elbows to your side. Eight. And ten. And here we go. I'll grab those. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's keep the stomach in tight. Okay. Let's go with that tricep push up. Okay. Okay. And let's go for ten. And two. Real strong pushes. Keep that elbows tight to the ribs. Good job. Okay. okay, let's roll back. Okay. okay, the first one we're gonna do is hip lifts. We're gonna use the chair, but not until I put some weight on the chair to hold it down. So people can grab all sorts of things as long as it has enough weight exactly. on it. Exactly, right? they can grab the end of, edge of a couch, the edge of a bed, anything that's got enough weight to support them. So you can test it before we do it. Definitely. Okay. okay, let's get the legs up. Okay. Okay, with a slight little bend, and we're going to try to do a step on, I was going to say clouds, but the sky's so blue that there aren't any clouds. Let's try to step on the sky. Okay, you can go ahead and grab onto the chair. Okay. Okay, let's control that, and exhale as you go up, very slowly, one, and down, good. And two, good, and let's try to keep this straight. There you go, good. Perfect, good work. And again. Good. And again. Good. And up. Very good. And nine. One more. And ten. Good. The next exercise we're going to go right to is the roll back, or the re actually the reverse crunch. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to roll the knees right back up into the chin. Okay. All righty. I'm going to put the weight back on there. Okay. And let's bring them up. Let's slowly return them. And next exercise, come up. And up. And roll up. If you get too tired, slow down or stop. Up, and six, and again, and hold it up, and again, nine, and one more. Good, all right, and then from this, we're gonna go to the, just the regular crunch, okay? On this one, you don't need to hold the chair, I'm gonna slide the chair back. Okay, let's get the legs up here, okay? And we're gonna curl up for a crunch. And exhale as you come up. Up, 
up, up, and don't pull on the head. You want to curl up the stones. You feel that? I sure do. Okay, up. Oh. Just look at this somewhere. And again, ten. Good stop. Okay, those of you that need, those of you that need to take a rest, go and go ahead and do so now. And we're gonna go right back and start all over again. Okay. okay? With the first exercise. They can use couches. Absolutely, they can use the edge of a couch, the edge of the bed, anything that has enough weight for them to support themselves. Okay, great. Okay. Let's start off that first exercise. Nice and slow. And exhale up. Up. Exhale up. Good. Up. You're just trying to kick me. Step. And up. Slow and, and controlled. And again. Good. And let's go to the next exercise. To the reverse cr crunch. Go. And up. And again. Up. Good. And just touch down and right back up. And again. And up, and up, and again, and up, and good, and let's hit those crunches now, okay? Set. Okay, let's get, let's keep them going. There you go, tighten up right, there you go, squeeze, three, and up, four, and five. You feel those? <laughs> oh! Come on, keep going, you can do this, eight, I think, up. Nine. Let's go. Last one. Ten. Good job. Okay. okay. Let's start all over again. Same thing. Let's go with the hip lift. Let's go up. One. And exhale up. And again. And up. And exhale up. And control. Good work. Good work. Let's put up the hand there to block you so you don't kick me. And again. Ten. Good. And let's now switch to the... Reverse crunch. Okay, knees to the chin and control all the way up. Good. And hold them. And four. And up. Only do as five. many repetitions as you can Again. with the proper forms. Hold them up there. Up. Eight. And nine. And again. Ten. There we go. Okay, and let's go to those crunches. Come on. Woo. Got that burn going? Oh, I do. Yes, let's go. And again. Three and squeeze. Good job. Four. Good contraction. And again. Six. And up. Seven. Up. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good job. We're done. Yes. So we have to do a little cool down. How do you feel? Good. Okay, ready for the cool down? Yes, I am. Okay, let's do some stretching. Okay. okay let's start off with the quad stretch. Hand up against. Chair, there we go for balance. Nice soft knee. Very good. Feel that stretch in the front of the thigh? Yes, I do. Very good. And hold that for about 15 to 30 seconds. Make sure you're balanced before doing these. Let's switch to the other side. Good. Good job. You're so graceful. You don't even need a chair. <laughs> okay. How does that feel? Okay, now let's go to the hamstring stretch. You can step back away from the chair, and let's bring the leg out here. And what we're gonna do is bend forward at, at the waist, and come down, don't bonk your head, and then bring the toe up to increase that stretch. There we go. How's that feel? Keep the back nice and flat. Very good, and hold that position. Do you feel that in the hamstring? Yeah, I do. Hold all your stretches steady. Remember, never bounce a stretch. Okay. And let's switch sides. toe up to increase that stretch. How's that feel? Good. And just breathe normally. There's no exhale or inhale. Just breathe very normally. Look at that balance. Very big show off. <laughs> okay, well, let's go to the calf stretch and we're going to hold on to the chair for balance. And we're going to get your right leg out to the back behind you. Okay, and then we're going to push forward, bending at the knee. Good. Feel that in your calf? Very good. And just hold that for 15 to 30 seconds. Get a good stretch on that calf. Good. Okay, and by leaning forward, you can increase it depending on your flexibility. So let's switch sides. Okay. And then just push through on the hips. There we go. How does that feel? 
And just breathe normally. Just take it easy and start to relax your way back. Good. Okay. And now we go into a hip flexor stretch. Okay. Step, step out. And get that back leg down. Be careful. There yeah, we go. Both are not balancing. They can just yeah, you can definitely put your hands down. There you go. Good. And try to get that knee close to the body. There we go. And keep it back nice and flat. Do you feel that in the inside of your hip? Good. And we want to try to keep it nice and flat and not bounce during the stretch. You want to always hold your stretches, keep your head up, and keep your back nice and flat. There we go. Good. Okay. And let's switch sides. How do you feel after all that hard work? Oh, this is the easy part now. Okay. How's that stretch feel? Good. Good. Okay, now let's go back, and I'm gonna get out of your way because I know you'll hit me. <laughs> and go out for a nice stretch back. Keep the palms, now rotate the palms back. There we go, and a good stretch. Keep your back up. There we go, a little bend in the knees. Good. And hold it. Okay, and try not to bounce in these stretches. Okay, now let's go. Very good, now let's go up and overhead. Up, very slight lean, but what we're going to do is just reach as high as we possibly can. So stretch up, keep it nice and tight, back upright, very good, and breathe normally. Okay, keep upright, okay, and let's switch sides now, let's go to the other side. Good, stretch and reach way up there, can you feel that stretch along, along the back? Very good, good. Okay, now we're gonna try to, we're gonna stretch out the shoulder. We're gonna come across, and put a little pressure on the back of the elbow. You don't wanna force it, you just wanna get a nice stretch. Good position, and you got your knees already bent. Good job. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, let's switch. Same thing, nice stretch out of the feel. I feel good. I'm gonna feel it tomorrow, but I'm well, that's the price you pay. Okay, great. And now we're gonna switch to a tricep stretch and we'll reach back with a gentle pull on the elbow. Good position, look at you. Good job. Yes, I am. How does that feel? Great. Good. Okay, let's switch sides. You should continue doing this routine three times a week or every other day. Your muscles need time to rest and recover between workouts. As you get more advanced, you can add more sets to each routine, and if you're comfortable, you can add more resistance. Just remember, never sacrifice safety for intensity. It's much more important to do each exercise with proper form and without straining. I hope you find our routine as much fun and as beneficial as I have. Good luck. See you next time. Thank you.